Now you got a hold of fraps. The question is, what are you supposed to do with it? Well, this short tutorial pretty much tells you how you record stuff straight off the monitor of your computer. When you open up fraps, your user control may ask you if you are going to allow this program to access. Just go ahead and click allow it. When you open up fraps, it starts with the general tab with these three checkpoints. Start fraps minimized. Frap windows always on top. Or run fraps when window starts. Don't worry about those. Monitor area desktop. When you click that, it'll record pretty much your desktop and whatever you do on it. Since you're going to be dealing with trying to record this desktop, you're probably going to have to go to the Movies tab. Your video capture hotkey pretty much tells you what it starts and doesn't start. I changed mine to tab because it's pretty much easier. So if I press tab while Fraps is running, it starts recording. And when I press it again, it stops. This here is your video capture settings, depending on how you want it. And normally, when full size, normally full size and at 30 frames per second, it's a large, large file running. Depending on how long you go, blocking frame rate will try to keep that frame rate going. Then you got your extra ca sound capture settings. Either record Vista sound which actually records things that go through your sound card just like my voice is right now or you can re or you also have the option to record external input such as your microphone or you can do both i just click both just to demonstrate and then you got your extra options which might come in handy like don't sync audio and video if you keep this unchecked it'll stay synchronized Hiding mouse and cursor video will actually remove the mouse from anything you do. And force loss of RGG, I have no idea what, but uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> and that's how pretty much how you use flaps to record straight off your monitor.